Hi, this is Carl with Small Biz Thoughts, and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. Today we're going to talk about the Network Documentation Binder, or NDB, and it is literally a binder. It's a binder filled with documentation for your client's networks. One of the first questions I always get is, why is this a binder? Why is it a physical binder? Why do I have binders for all of my clients filled with physical paper forms and all kinds of tabs? Why not do this electronically? Well, the reality is, if you're going to do it electronically, if you're good at it, if you're rigorous about it, if you document everything and you keep it up to spec and you're really good at that and you give your clients a copy of it and you keep it up to date, great. 99.9% .9 of you don't. So I don't want to argue about this. What we do is we have something called the NDB, the Network Documentation Binder. And it exists primarily in a physical form but we do photocopy it for ourselves and for the client. Now, what we don't want with documentation is BellArc. BellArc's a great product, but only for very specific purposes. The reason I don't like BellArc is that it gives you massive amounts of completely useless information. What we want is only the important basic stuff that you're actually going to need. So what do you need in your network documentation binder? Well, you need the basic network layout. So you literally want a map of what your network looks like. You need information about the network, the machines on the network, the IP address configuration, the ISP who serves up the internet, where email is stored, where data is stored, how it's backed up, kind of a narrative about the backup, you need information about the software that the client has, their license keys, their warranty information, Active Directory group policies, information about where the printers are, what their IP addresses are, how they're shared, which network shares are in use, where your spam filter is, right? The basics, not 700 pages of useless information. What you need is a small amount of information about the users and their services and their computers. And that's it. So it's a very manageable amount of information. But as you know from being in this business, 99% of the time when we come to a new client's office, they have zero documentation. Or what they have is what the primary contact has in her email system. Or a handful of things that people printed out and they're in a shelf somewhere or they're in a box somewhere or maybe they've got one big box that was originally the box from their motherboard for the server in 1999 and that's where they just keep stuffing things in there. Very frequently that information is old and out of date. It's got information about their previous ISP or even a network map from a, an office that they no longer even work out of anymore. So this is something that it's very simple to keep up to date. Whenever you put in a new machine, you put in a machine spec sheet. You put in an appropriate IP address. Whenever you configure something on the firewall, you document it in there. And again, you can photocopy it. You can make a copy for yourself. You can have it scanned into PDF and put that into your documentation system. Personally, I store this on a mapped network drive that I can access at all times. So my client's got a physical copy at their office. I've got an electronic copy in PDF format so that no matter where I am in the world, I have access to it. So I know their passwords. I know how to get into their, their remote systems. I know how to configure their firewall. I can get all that information. And here's the most important thing. This belongs to the client. This is not yours. This is not something you take with you. This is not your job security. You all know this. The reason there's no documentation when you take over a client's network is the previous guy took it with him. So don't be that guy. Do not hold this hostage. It is not acceptable. Documentation should literally be part of the value that you provide as a managed service provider. It belongs to the client. It should stay with them. And you should let them know how important it is and don't let even if they leave you, don't let them ever give this to another IT service provider who might take it and it'll disappear forever. 
If you want more information about the Network Documentation Binder, I recommend you take a look at my book, The Network Documentation Workbook. Yeah, it's a little old and that's why it's half price, but 99% of it is still valid and good and it's better than what most people are using today. So take a look at that or make up your own stuff. There's all kinds of information that you're already gathering. Just create forms for it, print it out, put it on the client's site and that way everyone has access to it if they need it. This is a true asset to any network and those networks deserve to be documented. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palachuk wishing you all the best in your managed service business.